Three Skeng tools reveal their steps as you work. Click the pipe tool to start a pipe. This activates the client window, which provides information options during operation. Click where the pipe is to start and click to show the direction for your pipe. Now pipe options are shown. Select the straight pipe icon. The screen now shows a series of dots or pins at the pipe location. Hover the cursor along the pins to reveal the diameter size for each pin. The pipe designation is shown at the cursor hint and the diameter is shown in the value control box of the SketchUp status bar. These diameter options are governed by the type of pipe you're using, as shown in the client library window. You can change the type of pipe you're placing by selecting from these offerings. Here I'm in detail mode and I'm using Schedule 80 steel pipe. Options in white are valid. Options in yellow show libraries I could purchase to include. Selecting Schedule 40 changes the number of available pipe diameters. Let's stick with Schedule 80. I will pick on 1 foot 4 diameter and then pull the cursor to stretch the pipe to length. Notice the right set of tick marks show the length in metric values and the left set of tick marks read out in imperial units. We'll click to set the length of the pipe. Hovering the pipe tool over the pipe reports info about the pipe at the cursor hint. Clicking on the T icon in the middle of the pipe shows me pins representing set of valid Schedule 80 steel T's available. Click to select the one you want, then move the cursor to place the T along the pipe. Next, move the cursor to set the rotation of the T and click. Add an elbow by clicking on the top pin on the pipe and selecting the elbow icon. I could change the elbow type to a reducing elbow, Schedule 80, reducing. There's all the available reducers or to a 180 degree steel elbow. There are two of those available. If I scroll down further, I see that a steel flanged elbow is available, but it's not recommended, so it's gray, dark gray label. Also, there's a metric steel elbow library that I could add to my tools. That's the yellow label. I'm going to stick with a standard Schedule 80 steel elbow. Click on the one you want and then move the cursor to set the rotation and click to set it. Come on. Let's place another straight length of pipe. Click the location, show the direction, select straight pipe, come in and select the appropriate diameter, one foot four, and stretch it to length. The edit and rotate tool will reposition elements. Click on the T and then click on the dotted line, linear dots, and I can move the T along the pipe, repositioning it. Click on the T and then look for the dotted circle to click, and that allows me to reposition the rotation of the T. When you hover over the elbow, 
watch to make sure you click on the correct dotted circle to make sure your center of rotation is where you want it. The reconnect tool lets me move the straight pipe to reconnect it to the new location of the elbow. It relines up to it. When you pre-select a set of pipes, the connect tool treats them as a unit. So I can position it from there to the new location of the T and it reorients as a set. Let's add another straight pipe segment. I'm going to move this one in space The pipe tool has an extended elbow setting. It allows you to place the elbow first and then you can use other snap points on other pipes to line up not only the rotation, click there, but also the extended length of the connecting arm. So click there, it lines them up. Let's draw another T. Position it at the middle and rotate it 270. The straight segment tool has an auto pipe functionality. If I click on the start point and select straight segment, and then touch somewhere else on a pin. If there are valid connection options between the pins, those will be shown as dotted line paths. Clicking on the end pin then shows me the series of valid connections. You can explore them by touching them. And you simply click on the one you want to accept it. Adding a pipe connection is easy. Pick the middle of the pipe. The client window shows you all the available connection types that are valid for the type of pipe you're working with. Get to the one you want and then just click the cursor to place it to split the pipe. Now we can pre-select the segments and the connector and the reconnect tool lets me split the pipe and reconnect it at the elbow. And the move tool let me adjust. Oh, it's in the middle. I need to move the pipe out of the way. Then use the move tool and select on the dotted line to adjust the elbow upward and then use the reconnect tool to snap the pipes back into place. Be sure to watch the video on conceptual piping next.